hello, hello, and welcome. We had the most exciting week this week on eBay. We actually sold almost $10,000 on eBay. We have over $5,000 going out today. This is our best week by far. Super excited about it. If you saw the thumbnail, we had two pieces I paid a dollar each for that sold collectively for almost $3,300. So I'm gonna show you those. We will talk about that. And I'm gonna show you what else sold. I don't have it in hand. As you see, I am in a hotel room in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We are doing a meet and greet. It will actually be the morning of when you're watching this. So Monday, we are doing a meet and greet in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what sold. Let's go. So per usual, there is no particular order that these are done in. If you are wondering, I will tell you the ones that are auction. Most of these were buy it now. The two biggest sales though were auction. And when I get to them, I will tell you exactly why. And we have some more items up on auction right now as well. So up first is going to be this Lauren Conrad crab brooch. I paid $2 for these. This one sold for $12.99. This one is going out to Lee at Lily Emporium. So thank you so much for your purchase. I greatly appreciate the support. This one's going to be about a $9 profit for us. And then up next are some Johnson Brothers transfer wear mugs there are six of these i paid less than five dollars for them i bought them in a personal buyout they sold in under a month for 51 dollars and 99 cents they are well over a 40 dollar profit i did lot them up so i will tell you i lot items up if i have multiples and by themselves they're only going to be worth like 10 15 dollars that is when I will lot stuff up because I'm trying to get a higher average sales price and these together made a great profit. All right, this next item is something that I have sold a lot of over the years. Keep an eye out for these. I found my first ones at a garage sale for $20 each. This one that you see on screen, I actually paid about $40 for. So I did pay up, but I was buying other stuff from this high bid auction and I know that these Swarovski ornaments sell very, very fast. This one sold in under two days for $81.31. That was an offer that I sent out. So it's going to be about a $30 profit, but it is a fast profit. I actually got nine Swarovski ornaments in that auction buy. So I am super excited to have gotten those. Even though they're not a ton of profit, they typically are really fast sellers. And then three whole dollars, three dollars for these running shorts. I paid less than 50 cents. They sold for three plus shipping. The buyer's $8.39 all in, and they are gonna be about a $2 profit. So if you were wondering why we do the lower cost items, well, for one, these higher dollar items do not always sell. And for another thing, I get them in lots. So when I can get a ton of items for a dollar to two each, and most of them are valued at 15 to 20 plus, I am happy to get those and I still will list them. Now, this next item is a vintage wood frame oil painting. It's oil painting of vases. Do not know definite time, definitely vintage, possibly antique. I paid $20 for this. I went up to Birmingham, Alabama. I bought, I believe about 18 total big frame pictures and you're going to see several and the crazy thing is they sold while i am here in myrtle beach south carolina and poor brad is going to have to ship them out tomorrow so he's probably not going to be thrilled with me um normally the bigger stuff i pack it up because i'm the one that decides to pick it up but he's all packing alone today so this is the first of them it's about 16 inches tall we did buy tv shipping boxes off of amazon because i was selling a few 
of the bigger art pieces. So we did buy those off of Amazon and this one sold for $150. So it's about $110 profit. It sold in under a month and really, really happy that it's going out. Next is a vintage Harley pan head patch. You're going to be seeing a lot of Harley coming up here on the channel. I actually have three Harley watch auctions running right now and I have several Harley patch auctions running. So I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about why I do the auctions versus doing buy it now. And it is not very common. It's only about 5% of the time that I do the auctions compared to buy it now. So with auctions, you need to have something that is very, very high in demand, such as the Harley watches that I have up on auction now. So they have only been available two to three times in the last 10 years, and there are none listed right now. There are a lot of Harley collectors, so this is something that I feel putting up on auction is a good idea. So we're gonna have another exciting end to next weekend with the Harley auctions, just like we had with the two Chinese roundels that you will see here in a little bit. So the Harley patches, I got 25 of them for $50. I am $2 in. This one sold in less than two days for $9.74. This one I was able to find comps. I try to price right at market value or a little bit below, not much. And this one will be about a $5 profit. Now I will tell you the Harley patches that I have up on auction are all starting at $49 and the watches are all starting at hundred. So we are going to have some higher Harley sales coming up on next week's what sold video. And then two more, these two sold to the same buyer. So these are Tigerwood oval framed vintage pictures. Pick them up again for about $20 in Birmingham, Alabama and the same buyer bought both of these. So both of them did sell and I will pop one up and then I will pop the other up. Both of them did sell for $129.35. So they're right at about an $85 profit after fees. And you will see I put antique oval bubble convex glass tiger wood. Now what you will also see is that I use keywords of the person that's in it. So I put grandpa, I put mustache, and then in the second one here, I put photo couple, and I try to describe the people in them because you want all of those words in those titles to help people find your items. And collectively, these two are over $150 profit. And then next we have a linen. This is a really cool vintage World War II hand stitch kitchen flower sack towel. This one says, Uncle Sam wants you. It was like when they were recruiting for the army. This one I paid a dollar for. It sold for $10 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So this one's gonna be about a $8 profit for us. And then we have a vintage layered. This is a triple cuff bracelet. It was stamped. I could not read the maker. That is why there is no name here, but this one sold for $19.49. I paid $5 for this, so it's about a $12 profit after fees. The buyer did pay five in shipping. Up next is a DVD. This is Learn to Skateboard, sold for $5.19. We did pay a dollar for this, so this one is going to be about a $3.50 profit. And then a vintage framed cross stitch. This one's a very small one. It's a little four by six picture frame. This one I paid a dollar for in a state sale. It sold for $10 plus six in shipping. So this one is going to be about a $7 profit and it's sold in under a week. So pick up the vintage cross stitch. They sell very well and it varies if they sell fast. I can't say they all sell fast, but if you keyword them well, they have sold within an average of three to five months for me. Then a vintage Nexium Man, a Nexium Man. This is the second one we have sold. This one sold for $25.99. I picked it up from George the Antique Nomad at his estate sale and I paid a dollar. So this is over a $20 profit. Watch for your pharmaceutical rep items. They will sell. And then we have a vintage Franciscan Rose. This is 
actually desert rose pattern the other pattern by franciscan is their apple both of those have sold well for me sometimes they sit but eventually they will sell especially your bigger serving pieces and like cookie jars things like that will sell higher and they will sell faster so this mug which was a single mug sold for $19.49 plus the buyer page shipping they were actually over $30 in total I only paid a dollar so this one is going to be about a $15 profit up next is this vintage red wing green village so this is like a big cup and i wasn't really sure what it was so i put that it was a utensil holder because it was about the right size to do that and it sold in under a month for 1949 i paid less than a dollar this one is again a 15 dollar profit we are getting we are getting to the high dollar and for those of you that are new I like to show the reality and the reality is I sell stuff from three dollars up to three thousand dollars and that's just my business model and it's what I like doing so up next this is going to a viewer this one is going out to Miss Sheila it is a Lily Pulitzer little wristlet I picked it up for a dollar it sold to Miss Sheila for $8.28 plus she paid shipping she said I could throw it out on my way <laughs> through I am heading up to Pennsylvania tomorrow but i didn't see the message otherwise i could have just tossed it out while i was driving i am stopping just outside of washington dc to deliver 2200 yadro piece and yeah all right you ready for the exciting stuff as far as the questions i got these in an auction lot i will post the picture up here of the auction lot i did not even notice them so i did not purposefully source these two items you were about to see i paid 25 dollars. i'm putting a screenshot up so you can see for a lot with over 20 other items so i'm about a dollar into these i identified them using google lens i looked at the pattern i looked at the colors i looked at the stitching i was not 100 percent sure as far as the quality of these or the time period so i started them on auction at 100 dollars each and this first one you are going to see is going to China and the buyer did pay for international shipping. It sold for $1,725 on auction. So the end of the auction was kind of fun. The end of the auction was pretty interesting. They jumped up a few hundred dollars. I was hoping to get over 3,000 each because when I comped these out, I saw some that ended over 3000 Again, wasn't sure of the time period, wasn't sure of the actual value. They are not that common. So I, you can see I put a question mark as far as the period. I was not sure what period they were from. The cool thing is a couple of my viewers told me that Peter Combs, which he is an Asian art expert and has a channel here on YouTube, actually showed my two roundels in his video last week, which I thought was pretty cool. And he said they were good examples. So this one for $17.25 did sell to China. And then the second one sold for $1,545 plus shipping and it is going to California. So between the two of those, it is over a $3,000 profit. Really, really crazy. Again, did not pick them up on purpose. I picked that lot up mainly because I saw several small ceramic pieces and there were some valuable ones in there. But I do want to point out that I tend to buy more lots from estate auctions that I see higher dollar items listed, especially if they're estates, because that to me just tells me that those people had higher dollar or higher end items. And you have more of a chance of finding gems like these two. So excellent, excellent sale on those two. Again, over $3,000 profit do your research i do not over research i do not over research that's why i started these at 100 you will see i'm starting my harley watches at 100 as well and a couple of my harley watches are from the 1940s so again rare items high demand that is when you want to auction and definitely paid off on these two all right next is a vintage southwestern woven basket i paid 12 dollars for this one at an antique mall i picked it up because i absolutely loved it it sold for 32 dollars plus the buyer paid shipping and this one is going to be about a 15 dollar profit and then we have a culligan 
water filter. This one sold for $17.50. I am less than a dollar in. If you do not already know, watch out for Culligan water filters. Any water filters, refrigerator filters, they all sell pretty well and a lot of them sell for higher dollar. This one is going to be about a $14 profit. It did take about six months to sell though, so it was a little longer too. I picked this up in a box of Culligan water stuff from Pennsylvania last time I was there, which is where I will be going tomorrow. Super excited to go hang out with my friend Dale and hoping to get to see my friends Jocelyn and Dacne while I'm up there as well and do a little bit of sourcing. All right, up next is this Petite Ami. This is a baby outfit. It is smocked. Smocked baby stuff can sell really high. If you search eBay for smocked baby outfit, you will probably see some high dollar stuff. So this one I paid five for, it sold for 18. So it's about a $10 profit. The reason I looked at this, it was new with tags. I don't typically look through baby or children clothing. That is just not my thing. But when I'm going down an aisle and I see a tag sticking out, I typically will look it up. And then this one is going out to Amy over at Edge City Traders. Amy is a repeat buyer for me. So Amy, thank you so much for your purchase. She got two other items as well. This is a vintage Tanala cat. Paid about $5 for him. He sold for $17 to Miss Amy. He will be about a $10 profit. So again, Amy, thank you so much for your purchase. Up next, this is a Tomiko scarf. So this one I paid a dollar for. It sold for $16 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. It is going to be about a $13 profit. Now you can notice I put clover here. I put square, silk, I put abstract. You want to think of those keywords for buyers to find them. And this one sold in about two months. And then here are the other two items that Amy at Edge City Traders bought. She got this vintage Marigold Carnival glass divided dish and one of my amazing vintage Louis Medic pottery pieces. This is a really cool little trinket dish. So together those two were 65. I have about $20 in so they're going to be about a $35 profit plus Amy paid 20 in shipping. I will send her a refund once I see how much the shipping actually costs for her three items. So again, Amy, thank you so much. And this little Honeywell thing, got this in a bulk buy, I paid less than a dollar, and it is a flash attachment. Not really sure, but you don't need to know exactly what these items are in order to sell them. So less than a dollar in, sold for $12.99 and under a month. As long as you can read and type in what the item says, typically the person that's looking for it is going to know what it does. You don't have to know. And this one's about a $10 profit. Piece of doll furniture. This is Tomi brand. I've shown you guys this before. Keep an eye out. I sold a couple of Tomi living room sets for over $50 for doll furniture. And some doll furniture can go really, really high. I might, I might have to do a video on some doll furniture. That I think that would be a fun one. Uh, this one sold for $9.74 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So this one is going to be about a $7 profit. And then the first of the Harley watches. So I paid $50 for three Harley watches and two of them are up on auction starting at $99. I've had multiple messages from buyers trying to get me to end the auctions, which is a big indicator to me that I should not because people are going to fight over them because they are rare. This one was from China, not branded, and it sold for $30 and about two hours. It sold really, really fast. So I've gotten $30 of the 50 I spent on the lot back and I've got two watches up on auction for $99. We also got over 500 Harley pins that will be coming up. Uh, I believe most of those I am going to put as buy it now. So if you're a Harley fan, definitely keep an eye out on the store. Next, this is a vintage Talbot jacket, sold for $5.12. Some of my Talbots sold really fast, but this one has been here over a year. I only paid 50 cents each for these pieces and a lot from an online auction. And you will see another one coming up that also sold for five. So this one's about $3 profit. Now, this plate, I absolutely love this plate. I only paid a dollar for this plate. It is Hearthstone pottery, which actually can sell pretty decent. And depending on the pattern and how rare it is, they can go high. 
This one sold for $22.74 from a dollar. So it's about an $18 profit. It sold in about six months. And yeah, look at the design. It's really, really pretty. If stuff stands out to you as really pretty or really different, then I would check it out and look it up on eBay. Here's the other Talbot's jacket. So the person got a beige one as well as a blue one. This one again is another $3 profit. And then this vase is really, really cool. Couldn't find anything on it. So you can see it actually has the weaving through the pottery. Um, so this was kind of designed around that. I had never seen anything like this. If you know information on this, then definitely let me know because I couldn't find anything. So I put redware clay, pottery vase, hanging planter, wicker woven throughout. I didn't know what else to put. I, I was not familiar with this. Sold for $21.57. Actually, I think this one might be going out to a viewer as well. When you guys get stuff, put a note when you pay because that's what I see when I look through my sold so I can see it better than I get a lot of messages on eBay and then I might forget. So this one I paid five. It's about a $14 profit. And then another DVD, Monkey Fist Floating Snake. Paid a dollar, it's about a $2 profit because it sold for $4.41. And then this oval antique tigerwood portrait. This one sold for an offer of $80. Again, I paid 20, so I'm actually making about 50 on this one. This frame was a little more damaged than the others. That is why I priced it lower. It also was just a single woman and the more interesting your subject matter is in your photos, the higher dollar you will get. And you have to look at things like the condition of the frame as well. So this was from that same buy and again, sold in under a month. And again, Brad had to pack these by himself. Feel really bad because he hates that I buy all the big stuff, but most of the time I'm there to help him pack. And now I'm out of town for nine days. So if you're watching this, honey, it's so crazy, none sold. And then this morning before I left, two had sold. And then on the way driving up here to Myrtle Beach, a third one sold and I'm like, oh, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. All right, <laughs> up next. This is a tiny little Del Pollen. It actually is a bucket. And I think it was from a statue like to hold the bucket, but I only had the bucket. So I did put replacement water bucket and it sold for $10. I am less than a dollar in, so it's about an $8 profit. And then these Smith Optics I actually had listed at about $200. Uh, I only paid about $30 in an online auction. Somebody sent me an offer of $100. I've had them listed for a long time. So when I've had stuff listed for a long time, I'm going to look a little bit harder at those offers when they come in. And this one's still going to be about a $55 profit. Again, had it for a long time, got a decent offer, made a good profit. I decided to let it go. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, make the money, make the space, and go buy better inventory. And then another pharmaceutical item. This one is a vintage Zellnorm drug rep post-it note. It's a five inch pad, sold for $9.74, plus the buyer paid five in shipping. I am less than a dollar in. I bought a big box of pharmaceutical notepads from George. I'm not even sure how much I paid. I highly doubt it was more than a dollar each. And this one will be about a $7 profit and it's sold in under a month. And then this Takahashi, really cute cat porcelain trinket box will listed less than a week. I am about $5 into this. It's gonna be about a $9 profit. So I love cobalt blue. You can see I use cobalt blue in the title. This one was a really, really cute mean Japan trinket box. All right, so that is everything. So again, over $5,000 going out. We are only a few hundred shy of selling $10,000 in a week. So it has taken three years to get to this point. I think the more experience that you get, the more knowledge you have, the better you are at picking and seeing things when you're outsourcing or if you're looking at online auctions. And that is just... It comes with experience. So even if you've been doing it a long time, if you haven't been researching or watching videos like this to see what's sold, it takes time to learn those items, learn the higher dollar items, figure out what's selling for more. I am over the moon ecstatic with this. I am very, very happy. I never would have thought I would sell $10,000 in a week. Um, 
I hope it repeats itself. I hope it repeats itself, but I think the stars just kind of align this week as far as several higher dollar sales. Hopefully those Harley watches go high so we could have another high week next week, which would be lovely. Um, I'm out of town again for eight more days. I will be in Myrtle Beach today and tomorrow, and then I'll be in Pennsylvania five days, and then we're coming back to Myrtle Beach for three more days because it's about the midway point between where we live in Florida and Pennsylvania. And with Dalton, it is much, much better to do it half and half. So hope this video, like lighting and stuff, hasn't been too bad. Again, I am in the hotel room. My mom's actually asleep at the bed. Um, I, didn't, I don't know how she went to sleep with me talking, but I can hear the ocean in the background. I can see the full moon on the ocean right out that, right out that window. Do not forget, tomorrow night, we will be live, myself and Julian. I will be coming live from Pennsylvania. I am gonna have to leave early and hope I don't hit traffic in Washington, DC. And I might be coming live from the car for a little while until we get into our Airbnb in Pennsylvania. Um, I will be joined by my co-host. He is back from his honeymoon. So congrats again to Julian and Kayla. So Julian will be joining me as well as special guests Cha Ching King and Rachel Strickland. So super excited to have those two on. I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you are having a great week. I hope you had a great weekend of sales. I hope they are picking back up for everyone else just like they are for me. If they are not, keep listing. Do not get discouraged. Keep listing. eBay is a roller coaster. You have to list, 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 and the sales will come. They will come. So hope you guys have great sales today. I really enjoyed meeting everyone today in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I will see you tomorrow night on the live show. Bye for now, guys. So if you missed my short, this is what happened at 1230 last night at our Airbnb resort. Somebody was shooting off fireworks on the beach and they had one tip over. It shot into the dunes. They caught on fire. We did call 911 before making this video. And yeah, everybody is safe and the only harm was to the dunes. Hopefully there were no animals in there. So just a hectic night and crazy crazy time at the airbnb we will see you guys tomorrow night at eight bye guys